Hi everyone, it's James. In Japan, I'm out running and I decided to make a video about traffic rules. Okay, as you can see, part of the road is painted green. That means this is a school zone, so you have to slow down. The maximum speed is 20, 20 kilometers an hour. Be warned. Just in front of me are two street signs. The top sign is for the speed limit, 40 kilometers an hour. The bottom one means you cannot park. Okay, you cannot park on the road. Now looking at the paint on the road, if you see dashed paint, that means you're allowed to cross over. But if you see a solid line like that going to the intersection, you are not allowed to cross over unless you're turning onto a street or someone's house. Okay, so the solid line means you must stay in your, your lane or else you're getting a ticket. And you, do you see that white line right there, right at the end? You have to stop behind it, especially if you're taking the road test for the first time here in Japan. Okay, make sure you, you're not on it. You have to be behind it, right there. Okay, there on the road, you see a Japanese symbol. Okay, that means school zone. Okay, so whenever you see that, you must slow down. You know, children will be around children, so slow down. In fact, we passed an elementary school. Do you see that long orange line in the middle of the road? Uh, the solid orange line means you cannot cross over unless you're turning into a business or going home or turning onto a street. You're not allowed to overtake uh, the vehicle in front of you. Here in Japan, we use mirrors. So be sure to check the mirrors, then proceed with caution. We're coming upon two signs. The bottom sign I already explained, you cannot park right there. And the one above it means you cannot overtake the vehicle in front of you. It's indicated as well on the road. The solid orange line means you cannot overtake vehicles in front of you. So be warned. Here in Japan, the stop signs are an inverted triangle. It says tomare, that means stop. And on the road, it says tomare, that means stop. And you have to stop behind that white line, especially if you're taking the road test. Here in Japan, the traffic light is red, yellow, and blue. And actually, it's green, but they say blue in Japanese. The word blue in Japanese is aoi. And they, they say red is aka, yellow is kiro, and even though we see green, but they say aoi for blue. I know it's weird, see? Every Japanese person and child will say aoi for the light, okay, to go. Even though in the West we know that's a green light. I know that's weird. Notice how those cars are stopping right there. They wait for the green light. Okay, right in the middle. If the light turns red, you have to stop at the white line. Okay, you're not allowed to go through it. Even when you're turning from the right side, see that car coming up? When it's green for him, he can't just turn right. He has to wait at that white line in the middle of the road. Those diamonds on the road mean that you're approaching a crosswalk, a crossing, so slow down, or if you need to stop. The blue sign with a man in the center means that that is a crossing. The blue circle with the two arrows means that you can go straight or you can turn right. Here is a very local road and the speed limit is posted on the top, 30 kilometers an hour. Right, so that concludes my video about traffic rules. Talk to you later, bye.